uh, pretty insane. We'll see what happens here. Hello. <laughs> Hopefully everybody can hear me. Hello, my name is Marky. I am uh, going to be joined by Anonymous later tonight. And maybe if you're a lip reader, maybe you already knew all this. But if not, um, Anonymous will be here later. Fleeb doing our observing is going to be uh, doing wonderful. And uh, Firehawk is also doing the producing slash directing slash everything else for us. Um, I called them the Martin Scorsese, but... Uh, maybe you're like James Cameron or I don't know who people like directors. Wes Anderson, that's one of my favorites. Anyways, uh, we have a wonderful match for you tonight. Semi-finals of Premier League. It is Uz Crew versus Marksman. I have memorized the scores now because I just went over them 30 seconds ago. Uh, they have played each other twice in the regular season. Uz Crew took Marksman out. 16-6 uh, on overpass. I said I memorized it, and then I looked over at the other screen uh, because I did not have it memorized. But uh, so they took an overpass map off of them, and Marksman uh, actually beat Uzcrew 19-17 on a Inferno overtime banger. So uh, depending on the map pool we get, it will be a wonderful matchup tonight. This is... The uh, obviously one of two semifinal games. The other one for Premier is going to be played tomorrow night. And that is going to be, if I can get it pulled up, it's going to be the Royals taking on Copy Pastas tomorrow at 9 p.m. So, should be another insane match for you. So, should be getting into things here relatively soon. I'm sure they're getting the servers all started and whatnot. Um, but I think it is going to be pretty wild. I would love to see another Inferno. We always say on the pro circuit that Inferno is the best third map. So maybe that happens. Maybe it doesn't. Um, both teams obviously very capable of playing it. So we'll see what happens there. Who's crew did finish the season in first place. They finished six and four. Um, that's actually tied with the Royals who are... Uh, in that other semifinal match tomorrow night. So it is technically like a one versus four seed here. Marksman finished the season at five and five. So. There we go. Wow. Look at that. Our wonderful production crew. Thank you. Shout out Firehawk. Uh, first map is going to be Mirage. Second map is going to be Nuke. Now. Marksman did pick Mirage, Ooze Crew picked Nuke, and the decider is Inferno. So we just talked about that wonderful third map of Inferno, and this is... I can't think of a better three maps. I mean, obviously some people like some of the other maps, but I'm just fine with these ones. So I think this is going to be pretty wild here. Um, it was, as I said, Marksman picking Mirage... Um, Mirage, obviously, I'm sure a good map for both teams. It's uh, obviously one of the more puggy maps, so uh, both teams should be very capable on it. It's sometimes maybe a dangerous pick, just given the level that you know everybody plays Mirage. It's the dust two of the current map pool, so honestly, probably one of my least favorite maps. But I mean, it always gets insane, so that doesn't even matter. But Nuke. Obviously going to be uh, another banner. Now, because, let's see, Ooze Crew picked it, so Marksman will get to choose the starting side for that. Um, obviously, Nuke sometimes being one of the more CT-sided maps, so depending on how things go for them, could be a bit dangerous if they get off to a crazy start, but we'll obviously see how things go. And then Inferno, as the decider, if we get there... But I have a good feeling that we're going to see all three maps tonight. I hope so, at least. So, And as I was saying before that, Ooze Crew 6-4, and four, Marksman 5-5, five and five, and that's the top four teams in Premier. That's how close it was. 6-4 uh, and four is the first and second seeds versus 5-5 five and five being the third and fourth seeds. Uh, the last two 
teams that didn't make it, VAC Veterans and Shogun, unfortunately, they were at four and six. So th that's just wild to me that every single team was, was that close during the regular season. If we look at Elite, for example, Mercenaries finished at 10 and one. And then we had a difference of Cyborg even down at two and nine. So that's, you know, a pretty widespread, but um, in Premiere, these guys are just, they're just insane. Way better than I'll ever be. And I'm sure we'll see that tonight. I'm expecting some crazy shots, some crazy deagles, some crazy, I don't know, shotguns. I want to see some crazy strats being pulled out because... I don't know, it's the playoffs now, so if they've been holding anything for the regular season, now's the time to unleash it. I don't know if anybody's going to find any new crazy meta on any of these three maps since they've been in the pool for so long, but you never know. We'll see. We'll see. So, I was looking at uh, some of the individual stats earlier, too, and we have, if it ever loads... Yon Yan Marksman is listed as the entry. He has a 1.16 rating during the regular season, which is way, way up there, top 10 on the leaderboard. Uh, so definitely we'll be looking to him for any sort of uh, openers coming into this. Uh, for Ooze Crew, top rated member is Chili. They're listed as a support. They have a 1.09 rating uh, coming into this, so not very far off at all. Uh, Lasad is at a 1.07. Sinky is at a 1.06. So they have some top, top tier uh, hitters on both sides here. So it should be... I, I don't know. I'm just very excited for this. I'm just talking to myself at this point, but. So nothing on the server end yet. So I have some filler uh, time here. Don't know what to talk about. I watched ESL Pro League playoffs earlier today. That was fun. I don't know if anybody else watched that. It's a good time. G2 just destroying as usual as <laughs> G2 going crazy. Liquid, the hope of NA. I don't have anything to say about that. I don't know why I brought it up. I don't know why I brought that up. But I, I, lo I, love, I love the pain side. Uh, they're obviously that core they've talked about being together for years. Themes. So we'll see what happens. But um, should be some pretty crazy matches as they get further on into things uh we have outsiders versus navi tomorrow so that should be a fun one but there we go and our wonderful producers are saying we are getting into the match here about ATK throwing 11 for lead against the Strats. <laughs> Man. <sighs> I don't know. And we should be in in just a moment here. Server is up. So things are about to kick off. Bear with us for one moment as we get in there and take on some awesome premier side uh, CSC League.
Now I did just pull up some additional stats for us. When we get to nuke Ooze Crew, 16-8, they won their first match against the Royals, who, as I said, are on the other semifinal side here. This crew also had another Inferno overtime match in the regular season. 22 to 20, they won against VAC veterans. So both Inferno games they've played so far have gone to overtime. I have to imagine that Marksman did ban overpass during the veto process because Ooze Crew had, from what I can count, three different wins on that map during the regular season in pretty dominant form each time as well. Also interesting, Marksmen have played Mirage twice so far in the regular season. They beat Shogun 16 to... Oh, excuse me, that's an Anubis match. They beat VAC Veteran 16-14 on Mirage, and they also beat VAC Veteran 16-5. So the second time around, very clean game from them. Definitely showing some dominance, but also... That means for both teams here, uh, some demos to watch over if they wanted to do some scouting before heading into this. <laughs> Should remind everybody that the winner of this uh, Premier side of things wins one million dollars. That is right, there is a million dollar prize pot for this. So there's a lot on the line, life changing money for these teams here. This is this is bigger than ESL Pro League. I don't know why people are watching that. Yeah, this is uh Basically the major. NA major. Nobody cares about no nobody cares about going to Blast DC or uh or the Dallas events. No. CSC League boys. Let's go. Tristy, I'll talk to our people. I'll I'll get you a milli. Why not? We got it. We 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 got so much cash floating around. Phase and heroic about to tank. Their stonks down. CSC stocks going way up. <laughs> Tomorrow, our IPO. Five hundred dollars a share. CSC League. Bye, bye, bye. To the moon, as they say. For those of you uh, maybe just tuning into the stream, we'll do a quick little recap for you. This is CSC League Season 10, semi-final match of the premier side coming at you. We have Marksman versus Ooze Crew. It is a best of three versus the regular season best of ones. And again, our maps for the night. Marksman picked Mirage. Who's crew with the nuke pick? It's map two. And if we have to go there, Inferno will be the wonderful decider as it always is. Uh, Tristy, unfortunately, there is not an actual. But 
that would be pretty cool though, wouldn't it? If there was some sort of prize. Bragging rights are I, I think bragging rights are a better prize than anything, but I mean not a million dollars, but like bragging rights are very fun. Right. And just got the word from our wonderful producers. We will be starting very shortly. Just we're waiting for all of the players to get into the server here. And sounds like that's about happened. So get into things very quickly here. Once again, shout out Fleeb doing the observing for us. Always a nice job. And Firehawk producing our wonderful showcase of talent in the CSC League. Anonymous Mouse will be here later. I am so sorry if you get tired of my voice, but that's too bad. You gotta deal with it. Sorry. Now, Marksman did pick Mirage, which is our first map here. We'll see what they have in store for us. I don't know if anybody watched the... Uh, I don't know if anybody watched that uh, Nade video that Mahone put out. That smoke hit history of uh, Window Mirage smokes. It's like 20 minutes long, and it is insane. I just loved it so much. It's crazy the ingenuity that these pros have. Reminds me of I've been watching a ton of uh, speedrunning videos. I don't know. If, shout out Summoning Salt on YouTube. I don't know if anybody watches those, but history of uh, Mario Bros. Three world records and all those sorts of things. I love them so much. That's what that smoke video reminded me of. And Mahone said he would be doing some more of those, so very curious about that. Someone it's Alta is the goat. I agree with that. His videos are so in depth. I don't know how one person can study like one game for that. I mean, I guess we all do it for Counter Strike, but regardless. Hello. Sorry I'm late. Hello. <laughs> no worries. Anonymous, welcome <sighs> to the stream. Yes. Hello. I'm so glad I've just spent 20 minutes filling and I don't have to do that anymore. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and that is absolutely perfect timing because we are heading right into the match.
We are working on getting into the match here. Just in the knife round so far, so. Not too much yet. <laughs> Man. Is that a clean sweep on the knife rounds? All right. Things are going to start off spicy for us. Spicy playoffs. <laughs> Always. Anonymous, did you hear the maps we got? Uh, Mirage. I don't know what else. We got Mirage, Nuke, Inferno. Mirage, Nuke, Inferno. All right. Mirage it's going to be definitely... wild gonna be not no offense to anybody but it's going to be a sleeper i <laughs> do not like mirage it's overplayed it needs to be out of the game like us too <sighs> i agree with you i you agree replace it with like tuscan or something. i don't know right we, we get some sweet matches but yeah still but nuke nuke however oh yes and One inferno these teams played each other during the regular season on Inferno, it went to overtime, 1917. Ooh, maybe. Very stuck up white out. There we go. We are into the pistol round here. And just like that, Marksman take it. Went for a B hit. Keep four alive. Marksman did pick in uh excuse me, did pick Mirage, so I'm sure they have some good strats lined up for us. I hope so. Maybe some like <laughs> I don't know. Throw the smokes. Well, they have five Mac 10s on this round, so <laughs> definitely something lined up, I would think. They're definitely going to push something. Yeah, push. Oh. Rush. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five USPs for each Not going to be much they can do. Not a lot. Might be a boost. Oh, he's, he's ready, waiting though. for it. He he's is so ready. ready. <laughs> Ooh. Kowalski. Gets knifed once, but runs around and gets it though. Yeah. Oh, there's another oh, the spray transfer. <laughs> oh, almost. So close. That's great though. They were able to farm so much money with those Mac tens. They were. We apologize. For Yeah, just getting in. Things should be looking better for oh, us momentarily. Once again. Yeah, Sinky. I did I did confirm ah. that before the stream. I almost said skunk, I don't know. Dyslexia <laughs> going hard right now. <laughs> it's been a long day. <gasps> Heck. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. <laughs> oh, the the diffuse. <laughs> Almost.
see what they decide. AKs will come out. Could see an AWP as well. CTs do have enough to buy back some M4s here, but their utility is very, very limited. Marksmen should be aware of that. And we do have a pause coming out, so... Ooh, a Bowie Sapphire. Who was that? Oh, I'm not sure. Skins obviously make you better, though. That's why we're seeing so many nice uh, knives and everything here, because we're in Premiere. You guys can Hello. Here, right? Oh yeah, we gotcha. <laughs> there we go. Shout out to our wonderful producers and observers figuring everything out for us. We just have to do the talking. That's the easy part. Is part. It's going to be a full gun round for both teams here. Five M4s and five AKs. The actor does pick one up. Oh, Chili pushes out. Oh. Ah, uh, he yeah, died. Yeah, some Dr. Soup. Chime in for one, yeah. Sad. Apologies right. again for the delays there, but we will get into things very shortly. At least we're having issues on map one. So <laughs> right, we have exactly. Time to fix it. <laughs> is this a three map? This is going to be a three mapper. I, I said it earlier. Wait, we're going to go is, all three. What is CSC streaming without tech issues? Still better than ESL, though, right? Or PGL. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Not Blast, though. Shout out Blast. We love you. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Mirage. Or no, Mirage Nuke in the front out. Yes. Yep. What do you think takes map one? Just based off stats. Man. I, I'll say Marksman just because they picked it. I think uh, I was looking at the stats earlier, and you know what's crazy? The one through four seeds in Premier, Uzkruz finished first place at six and four. Fourth place marksman is five and five. So there's like hardly any difference between in the regular season. Wow. What about Nuke? Well. If I said Marksman for Mirage, then I have to pick his crew for Nuke, because I want three maps, so... <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, I was, uh... I don't... I don't know. I guess it's kind of hard for me to guess who would win. Mirage is such a bug map, you know? Right. It's such a toss-up. Like, there's been so many pros that have picked the map as their map and have lost so you never know yeah everybody knows how to play it it's it's mirage True. it's the dust two of the map pool right now it, it, yes that and inferno or even overpass overpass i feel is a lot is played a lot i forgot how long it, overpass has been a competitive map for it's been in the map pool for quite some time i think i think what they should do is take out Mirage, put Tuscan, 
take out Inferno and put something else in there. I feel like we just need a like complete refresh of this. Maybe we'll get that when uh, Source 2 drops tonight. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, did you see that uh, CS changed their Twitter banner? The new, yep. Oh, yeah. I think they're just trolling us at this point. <laughs> Alrighty, we're getting back into the game here, and it is 3-2 Uzkur on the CT side. They are in the lead currently. Still a buy for both teams, Smartak on the Deagle. Oh, and look at this mid-aggression from the CTs. T-Tox is up here, yeah. Could have had Not a timing. Do it. Might actually still get a timing. Fights the cat player. Damage exchanged. They know where each other are. Some more mid-util coming out for Marksman, so they will be able to... Oh, Mordex just pushing straight up cat. Kind of smoked. Chili does some damage on the spray. But they're pushing now, Dactor. Is here goes down Kowalski and Lissad find one Dr. Soup only one before they get traded out as well so T's have the site and a three on two bomb will go down that might be the rounds here Chili does have a kit but Chaos is tagged down to 39 HP They are still pushing in here, though. Oh, and Chaos finds one. Now a two-on-two. Two, bomb's halfway gone, so they need to move very quickly if they do want to try to retake this. And they're going to back out. Might have stuck around just long enough for a couple of these T's to die, though. Uh, maybe not. They get out of there just fine. Third round on the board for Marksman. And we have a tie game after six. Whose crew is forced by in? Two SMGs and a scout. Definitely enough to have a chance here. And just like that, Chili, with this, that saved AK, picks up one. Early advantage for the CTs. Definitely need it with those lower grade guns. Ah uh, yes, Mordak with the Shadow Dagger's flashbang. <laughs> <laughs> the Damascus Steel, so uh just I can't play with them. I tried. Too distracting. I love this AK Green Lamb with an Imperial. Yeah. It's I have a sweet. Green Lamb. Ooh, Chili Peaks out finds two. That's the oh. bomb as well. Young trades, but it's a four on two now. A better skin than the uh, green laminate is the AK first class. Oh, with all the stickers on it? That one? Mm -hmm. I own one. That was pretty sick. It has a rush sticker on it. And I think optic gaming. Yon, your last alive for Marksman. Down on 10 HP, trying to save in the window room. Uh, they and just pop he out. Does not. That's a huge force buy for Ooze Crew. They huge. win it, they pick up three AKs as well. And take the lead. Marksman will be down to a save now. Couple Deagles. 
four deagles. Definitely can't count them out yet. Mordek sitting at seven and four. Seven kills through seven rounds. Same with Chili and Dactor for the Use crew. Once again, just a pretty slow default so far for Marksman. Don't have any util, so... Oh, Yun. They don't need it. Finds a Deagle headshot. That will spread the defense out here. Chili spots one in Palace. Does some damage. Scout was in window room, but they have given it up now. Oh, no. Young's pushed out. Trying to find this that default nade. player. Oh, Ooh. did lots of damage. Nice molly to deter T-Tox from peeking out of Palace as well. Now they know at least two are over here. And Chili finds one. All three players now for Marksman. Towards this A side, Chili with the FAMAS headshot. Finds their second of the round, Dr. Soup. Finds one. All left on T-Tox. And 3k from Chili on the FAMAS. Nice job to find those, and that's a fifth for Ooze Crew. AKs will come back out, though, from Marksman. Are we not live? Oh, okay. Don't mind me talking to ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I hear them too. I think they're haunting us. Definitely. Definitely haunting us. If you still can't hear us, apologies, bear with us for another minute or two here, and we will get back into things. <laughs> 